Welcome to our Five on Five. Please to welcome back John Bile. He's the director of Jackson County Parks and Roads. Good to see you, John. Thanks Thank for being you. here. Thanks, Craig. All right, so we're here today to talk about the Bear Creek Greenway. It's something we've seen a couple fires on in the last last couple of weeks. Um, how much of that does the does the Jackson County run? The Greenway is an interesting um, asset for our valley because the Greenway is actually owned by five different cities, by the Oregon Department of Transportation, and a big chunk of it by Jackson County. And so we own a part of the Greenway. The part of the Greenway is our responsibility to directly manage. But we also have a role of coordinating all the agencies and to where we work together. And we have a park ranger that, that takes a lead for a lot of the activities out there. Okay, and, and so this park ranger, I mean, how much authority do they have? Do they work technically for all these different agencies? So they're funded, um, about 50% of their funds are funded by Jackson County um, through our Parks and Recreation Fund. And then about 50% of the funds are funded by the other entities where they all contribute to a, a, an agreement called the Joint Powers Agreement. And so about half the funds are paid by the locals and half the funds are paid by us. Okay, I know, I know our, our reporters have gone on uh on um, walkthroughs, if you will, I think there's, you know, sweeps is the better term for it, um, with the sheriff's office, with Medford police, um, of transient camps. There are a lot of transients who like to camp in that area. That's the cause of at least one of the fires in the last couple of weeks that we saw in the Greenway. Um, has this been going on for, for that long? Obviously, you know, we know the fuels are ripe this time of year. Well, we've had the Joint Powers Agreement in place since um, uh, about 2008. So that's been in place for a while, and that's the agreement that we all work together, and we have a ranger. The, the transient cam um, sweeps have been kind of an off and on thing for quite some time, but starting about last year, we started doing them regularly. Um, the Sheriff's Office gave us a big hand. In fact, they led this effort of getting this program together, and those sweeps have gone about, about monthly of going through the Greenway and trying to clean, clean the, the transients out and get an, address that issue. Yeah, and, and obviously police law enforcement can't be everywhere, and the Greenway is a large section of, of property. Um, is there a solution to, to kind of mitigate the fire risk that, that currently is there? So, you know, Craig, that's a really tricky issue because this is the Bear Creek Greenway. And there's supposed to be vegetation out there. This is supposed to be a green ribbon of natural area through the central part of the valley. And if you could picture Bear Creek denuded of all its vegetation, I don't think any of us want that. We all, we all appreciate that Greenway area. The risk is um, it, there's behavior out there that when you mix the summer we're having with the fire risk we're having with irresponsible behavior, you have a big risk. And trying to find that balance is a tough issue. Mm, certainly, all right, we're gonna take a quick commercial break. Yeah. We'll have much more in just a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with John Bile, the director of Jackson County Parks and Roads. So we're talking about the Bear Creek Greenway and the three recent fires we've had on there uh, this month. Um, it's a difficult area to manage. We've talked about that. Seven agencies or seven municipalities, if you will. Um, what, what are these seven different groups doing to mitigate the risk there? So uh, all seven of us work together to try to make sure that the greenway is safe. Um, we, we mow the vegetation back, we patrol it, we, we, uh, we try to make sure it's clean. So there's a lot of activities there. One of the big issues that all of us work on are fuel reduction projects, where we try to go in and remove the intense fire fuels, the big blackberry thickets and that kind of stuff, to try to reduce the fire risk. The challenge is, unless we removed all of the vegetation, to basically make it look like the LA River in Southern California, where it's, just, it's all concrete. Unless we removed everything, there's always gonna be a fire risk there. And, and if you have a hot, dry summer like we have today and people act irresponsibly, there's always gonna be a risk of fires there. And that's, and that's a tough issue. Yeah, is, is, I mean, what, what solutions are there to, to find that middle ground, if you will? I mean, I mean, I know we saw on Facebook, we even did the story of people talking about like taking a herd of goats through there. Um, you know, maybe uh, community service for people who run afoul of the law, if you will. So the, the primary agency that cleans the Greenway today as far as the vegetation is uh, community service crews. So we have a crew on the Greenway this time of the year, um, three days a week in the wintertime. They're out there five days a week. So we have a lot of community service work going on out there. Goats and other things are a solution. But let's take, for example, the fire, the most recent fire that got everybody's attention, the Expo fire. Sure, the Penninger, sure. The one along Penninger. That particular fire started and burned through areas that had had this fire um, uh, fuel reduction program done. Mm. A lot of that area was pretty cleaned up, but there was still grass and there was still some trees that the fire got into. A lot of the blackberries were removed. And so, like I said, unless you made it to where there's no vegetation, if, there, if the fire risk is this high and people act irresponsibly, there's still a risk. 
What's if you had a magic wand and you could, you know, do one thing to, to mitigate these risks or to, to, to fix the, the quote unquote problem or problems, what would you, what was the one thing you would change? You know, I think, you know, in the last several years, the biggest challenge we've seen of where these fires start is with transients. And, and um, if I could wave a wand and fix it, I would make sure that no transients are on the greenway. But homelessness is a big societal problem. Um, Jackson County Roads and Parks is not going to fix this. The Sheriff's Office is not going to fix this. There's no single wand you can wave to fix the homelessness issue and that problem. But if we could address that, the fire risk on the Greenway would go way down. All right. Good to see you. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Craig. Appreciate it. Stay with us. We'll be right back.